Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I only got three words to say. Deep web again. What's up everybody? Reaction Action Nation here with the one of Devin segment. Today we are here to check out cautionly deep web stuff again. I don't want to do this, but uh curiosity keeps peaking. It's interesting. I don't know why, but I hope I don't stumble up on something I do not want to see. Let's do this. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button down below, also hit that bell for more notifications from me, and they will come to you all. So let me know if you want to try next. And I've got you, fam. Hashtag R A N. This is go. Let's do this. Do this. Pray for me, y'all. Please pray for me. Pray for me, please. The deep web consists of websites with encrypted networks so that no one can know the user's locations or identities. Due to this, it has become a place on the internet with the most mysterious discoveries. Number five, the Hell, the hell Forum. This is an infamous deep web hacking forum dubbed the Hell, unquestionably up to no good. It is used by criminal hackers and scammers to share stolen data, usually of very high value and importance, as well as hacking tips and other techniques with each other. The forum gained notoriety in 2015 when a hacker known as RORRG posted a message board called Hacked Data, with 15 spreadsheets on it. The message board also had a motto that read, Sharing is Caring. The data mm -hmm. came from a hack at the popular online dating and hookup website, Adult Friend Finder, which has more than 60 million users, making it the biggest splashy hack of all time. These files contained highly personal information about almost 4 million people. This included their names, locations, email addresses, and their sexual preferences. For more than one month, almost no one outside of the Hell Forum seemed to notice the undoubtedly enormous data breach, with millions of people's private lives at stake, some of whom were likely married or in stable relationships, making them the targets of extortion. It wasn't until three months later that a British TV station, Channel 4, broke the story that the rest of the world found out. This is when Adult Friend Finder admitted to the breach on its website. The popularity also brought some unwelcomed and unwanted attention to the forum. Cops began lurking around. Despite the admins, also founder of the website known by the pseudonym Ping, attempts on shaking them off by deleting inactive accounts every first day of the month, Ping disappeared, suggesting rumors that he may have been arrested. He returned a few days later, but the forum remained closed. In early 2016, an old hell admin, going by the name H.A., Relaunched the forum, which has the same appearance and experience as the old one. Number four, wow. assassination market. You in the mood to buy some murder with your Bitcoin? What? Well, that's the whole idea behind the assassination market. The Kickstarter-like website, which allows users to crowdfund murders through donations of Bitcoin, the anonymous digital currency. The hidden internet marketplace could be a nightmare for world leaders. Founded in <laughs> 2013, the site is only accessible through Tor with a list of bounties, all of which target various government officials. Forbes reporter Andy Greenberg talked to Kua Badake Sanjuro, crypto anarchist and founder of the assassination market, who holds the belief that the site will change the world for the better by destroying all governments everywhere. Oh. Sanjuro's main argument is that once a few politicians get killed, the war on privacy that they are apparently waging will end. A few months after the website was founded, Former chairman of the Federal Reserve System, Ben Bernanke, got the most money in his Deadpool with a listing of 124.14 Bitcoin, 
or about $71,000 as of November 2013. Wow. Jyrki Katainen, former Prime Minister of Finland, Francois Hollande, President of the French Republic, and Barack Obama, former U.S. President, also appeared on the list. To collect the money after a kill, the would-be hitman must prove that they are responsible for the death wow. by predicting the date of the killing ahead of time and embedding it in a donation of one Bitcoin or more. Sanjuro would collect 1% of the payout for himself as a commission fee. In late 2016, a similar site appeared on the dark web calling for donations to facilitate the assassination of President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, both of the U.S. The Termination Donald Trump site includes the address of a Bitcoin wallet to which people can make donations. By August 2016, the attached account had received 115 Bitcoin, or approximately $88,550. The site stated that the consequences of having Donald Trump and Mike Pence as leaders of the free world are extremely dangerous, and that the political, environmental, and social consequences will change the U.S. for the worst. Number three, the mysterious this photo is of a 15 to 16 dark year old shit. girl. Mark Spielman is a former police officer who prides himself as an expert in exploring the darker corners of the web. It then happened that someone with his particular skill set was needed in the local police department to assist in criminal investigations where critical evidence might have been hidden in the deep web. The job started by tracking sites and secret networks notorious for sharing child pornography and other concealed illegal activities. Mark could track down any user, even those who hid behind multiple proxies, and the evidence he gathered helped the department crack multiple cases. It even extended to him tracing people who hacked into the police database, altering evidence. Mark then found what he believed to be one of the largest child porn rings ever discovered. Wow. Tracing a single lead, the URL Suite 15, which led him to a virtual warehouse of depravity. As he investigated further, he saw dozens of links to images with names all similar to katie.jpg or peggy.jpg. He decided to click on one of these links named kathy.jpg. He was presented with a photo of a girl around 15 or 16 years old smiling faintly while standing in a dimly lit room. She was not depicted in a sexual way, and she didn't appear nervous or threatened. Prepared to move to the next link, he noticed the URL corresponding to the image, which read Janice.jpg, not Kathy.jpg. He tried another image, yeah, stop, this man. time Susan.jpg. He got the same result. Same photo of the smiling girl, and again under the URL Janice.jpg. He ended up opening about 100 photos, all with the same picture. But on the last page of the logs, he noticed a single file name, truejanice.jpg. He immediately clicked on it, and his computer erupted into a flurry of critical error messages before completely freezing. His computer had been infiltrated with a malicious application, which deleted every one of his files and replaced them with newly downloaded image files. They were the images of the same girl, only she looked scared this time. As he pressed onwards, the images revealed a progressively more horrifying scenario with the girl's expression turning from terror to agony as the room became darker and darker. Toward the end of the file list, the girl was tied to a bed frame with a male occupant using sharp instruments on her as she lost blood severely. Most of the images were solid black now. By the second to last file, Mark saw Janice facing the camera as she had in the beginning, with her eyes sunken, her skin drained of color, her face dotted with dried blood. He clicked the final file and was met with a single line of text. Who is Janice? According to the police report, the Word document of the entire ordeal was the only evidence found in his computer. No trace of the Sweet 15 directory was found. The report also states Mark had disappeared after he left work that day, and to this date, his whereabouts are still unknown. Wow. Number two, sad scene. Sad Satan is a horror game unlike oh, yeah, about this. It can be downloaded via the tools that can access the hidden depths of the internet. Jamie, owner of the YouTube channel Obscure Horror Corner, received a link from one of his subscribers who sent him a game called Sad Satan, which is located on a deep web website. The subscriber found it in a forum post listed as the link to the game signed with the initials ZK. Jamie downloaded the file and ran a malware check on it. According to him, everything seemed to check out so he started playing it and recording videos for his YouTube channel. For most of it, the player walks down a series of hallways in a dark maze, and usually, the footsteps make it soundtracks. Occasionally, the visuals are interrupted with brief flashes of black and white photography. Towards the end, the soundtrack builds to a loud rumble, a 
accompanied by what sounds like a dialogue track extremely slowed down. The two images flashed in the first video are of a gentleman at Konopi's stay in the Czech Republic. It was the last residence of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the man whose assassination started World War I. Sad Satan has several other parts, and the internet does not have a conclusion of its course yet. It's simply a creepy oddity and holds inside of it several references waiting to be decoded. Number 1. Red Room A Red Room is a hidden website available in the deep web where you can participate in torture and murder. Wow. As the story goes, sometimes rape. Red Room generally contains explicit harassment and torture subjected by a command given by an evil person online. The person will pay for the torture online using Bitcoin where the video is then telecasted live. According to the amount of money transferred to the owner, I'm going to start making torture as per the uh, uh, typed uh, instructions. Not this, but more I'll, money I'll equals it's... more torture. The blood and screaming do serve as some sort of entertainment to the users. The proof is yet to be found that these sites actually exist. One case that suggests that Red Rooms might truly exist is that of Peter Scully, a pedophile currently facing trial. I'm stopping right there, dude. <sighs> I'm gonna go to this dude's channel. Not the not not the deep web thing, but the dude that did this whole countdown video thing. Um, top five, I don't know his name, but I'm gonna go to his channel and try to see if he's still posting stuff right now because I do not want to end up missing like these other people. Top five unknowns. There we go. Okay, let me see. That was posted back in March. Okay, good. He just posted some. He just posted something eight hours ago and a day ago. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, you guys, I'm done, man. I'm done with this deep web stuff, man. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go on the actual deep web, which is a big no-no, but, you know, videos on YouTube. Anyway, um, if you like my reaction, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell for more notifications from me, and they will come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to ask next, and I got you found, hashtag R-A-N. I'm out, y'all. Peace.